What's going on YouTube? Robbie again, and today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO City set number 60057, Camper Van. Uh, the set has 195 pieces, comes with two minifigs, and retails for around $20 to $25. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's, it's a camper van, and <laughs> you also get a, a nice little canoe uh, with this thing, as well as the two minifigs with the oars and, and the uh, life jackets. Very nice. Um, I'm really loving the design of, uh, of the camper van. I have the uh, car and camper set uh, from, what was it, last year or the year before? Uh, the previous, whatever, camper set, uh, whatever it is. And uh, I really love that set. I, and, um, I think part of it is that uh, a camper van was uh, one of my favorite sets as a, you know growing up. Um, I had an old Lego camper van, and uh, I loved... Smashing it to bits and <laughs> reassembling it, and uh, I was able to put it together without the instructions, which was pretty uh, pretty crazy at the time. Um, but anyway, this looks like a really fun set. Uh, it's got a lot of play features going on here. You've got the uh, the canoe, uh, which can I, I'm assuming go on yep yeah, go on the top here. You've got all kinds of opening compartments. The top in two spots the side opens up looks like there might even be like a television or something going on in there uh you know hang out and drink some hot chocolate um yeah so really really cool stuff on the bottom here you can see it's got some uh call outs for the next wave of sets from 2014 and they all look pretty pretty stellar so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put this thing together and uh i'll be back with you guys when it's uh good to go so i'll see you in a moment Alright guys, here it is, the camper van. And uh, as I normally do with these uh, LEGO reviews, I'm going to start off with the minifigs first. And yeah, it should be pretty quick. Uh, so, you get two minifigs in this set. Um, a male and a female. And they could be related. I don't know, it's up to you. Uh, <laughs> whatever makes you happy. But we're going to start with this guy right here. Um... <clears throat> So, very standard minifig face that we've seen many times before, and uh, pretty familiar with this hair piece as well. It's in kind of like a, a burnt orange, uh, sort of light brownish kind of color. Um, may not be coming out so terribly well, uh, just with the, the lighting setup I have here at the moment. Um, but you get the idea. He's got a very nice orange uh, hoodie on here, and a, and a blue t-shirt underneath uh, very nice little hood printing on the back uh, no no printing on the back of the head and he's just got some uh, some blue jeans going on there and uh, he just looks very comfortable very comfortable to be outdoors and uh, just hanging out and really nice uh, really nice print overall I, I like the uh, I like the hoodie there uh, next and last but not least here is the uh, the lady and she also has kind of a, I don't know if you could call it a, s a sweatshirt, like maybe a maybe a jogging, like a jogging top, uh, with like a little little shell necklace. So pretty cool, and some some bluish grayish legs, maybe kind of like you know jogging pants or or yoga pants or something like that. Uh, no no printing on the back of her head either, and she's got the kind of. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but this uh, this hairpiece. Uh, so very very nice. They both look ready for some camping in the uh, the great outdoors, and they're going to do that in their camper van. And uh, this thing is pretty awesome. I gotta say. Uh, so you start off, you get the um, <clears throat> you get the canoe here. Which is pretty uh, pretty simple, just one piece. I don't think it actually floats. I doubt that it does. Um, it's the same canoe you get with the, uh, the Lone Ranger sets, but this time in, uh, in red instead of brown. I believe that one came in brown. Uh, so yeah, some 
good amount of room for for uh, minifigs to sit in there and uh, overall pretty cool you get a little sticker to put on there as well for the branding and yeah overall very nice uh, but the meat and potatoes of this set is right here and uh, here it is the camper van itself and I'll show you really quickly from uh, all around here just so you can kind of see what you're what you're dealing with and if I had one big complaint about this is that the, the back is very very plain just very boring there's no like bumper on the back it's just straight flat hard angle right there um, with the you know the license plate sticker just plopped on there uh, and I would have liked to see you know maybe just a little bit of a bumper or something uh, on there but as it is that is a minor nitpick in what is otherwise a really, really nice, uh, nicely made set, nicely made vehicle. Uh, so, to start off, you get a ton of storage here uh, in this in this set, and I'll start out here. You've got um, this little compartment can open up, and you see the oars and the life jackets for the uh, for the canoe right in there. Um, you can also open up this little bit right here and there's even more storage space just right up in here so you can fit all kinds of good stuff into this set and uh, lots lots of play options here and then to open it up you can actually just take the whole whoop, <laughs> take the whole top of it off uh, being careful not to just spill everything out of the uh, top compartment like I just did and you just take that you can see the little droid head up there very nice and uh, you have access to the inside of the van and uh, you can also swing the, uh, the side panel open here to really you know get inside and you can see you've got a nice little like bed area here little little pillow and a blanket so you can uh, you can have a nap when you've uh, gone you know done all your cool adventuring for the day and you want to just come and chill out there's even a little TV sticker put right back there you can watch looks like a, a fishing network and there's lots of lines going across the screen so it indicates to me that uh, maybe there's not a great signal where where we are for the uh, for the television they're really out roughing it guys <laughs> um, you also get a little table with the uh, always needed a uh, little red uh, coffee cup there you actually get two uh, and that brings us up to the driver's compartment here there is only room for one to actually sit up here but it's uh, nicely laid out you get the little cup the little steering wheel and a seat and uh, you also get the, uh, the opening and closing doors so you can sit your little guy here they'll take turns you know you can you can chill out chill out at the little table because he did the driving yesterday and, and she's gonna do the driving today they're switching off you know it's good to it's good to switch off so you don't get too tired uh, <laughs> unless you're like me and you absolutely hate driving but uh, yeah just plop that on and uh, stick this right back on top like so there you go and then uh, take off it would have also been nice if they had um, implemented like a little trailer hitch back here so you could you know stick another like if you have a trailer from another Lego set you could you could pop it on the back uh, just a couple little things they could have done to add a little more playability to the set overall but uh, really it's really really well done well put together um, it was an enjoyable build it's it's kind of standard you know truck slash car build uh, for you know for the base at least but once you start building it up and actually get the interior going and things like that it's um it's an enjoyable simple build this is a good um, definitely a good uh, kind of all-in-one set you've got a whole a whole adventure all in one uh, that you can really kind of use your imagination with so I really really like this set um, I think you guys will too. I definitely recommend it, and uh, it should be showing up in stores now-ish, I think. So, yeah, definitely go check it out, um, and it, it rolls for those of you who are concerned that it 
didn't roll. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to uh, like, comment, and of course, subscribe. I've got lots more LEGO stuff coming along. And uh, I want to make sure you guys have uh, get notified when that drops. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I want to thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.